On the justice court, the plaintiff, Upi Jennifer, is back in court with the evidence of loan she gave to her ex-lover and a medical examination report to disprove the allegation that she does not have a womb. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Obi Jennifer and Ifai Monday. Thank you, Akin. You're welcome. Previously on the Justice Court. It was 2021 during Christmas period. He asked that he wanted to change his phone. He was using an iPhone XR. They wanted to change it to XS um, 11 Pro Max. So an 11 Pro Max as of then is kind of 300 and something thousand for the fairly use. So he said I should lend him some money to add to what he had so he can get the phone. I said, okay. He started paying already. He started paying already. He paid <coughs> thousand. The last transfer he did, he even sent me a message on WhatsApp and said, please try and understand the way things are. How I much promise is to pay. Now? The, how much is outstanding? One sixty. One hundred and sixty thousand. Yes, so it's like you have received two hundred thousand naira. Yes. If I, what do you have to say to that? To cut all the long story short, I met her on a friend party. Along the line, we started dating. Which I know how much I've already spent on the relationship, but I'm not complaining. But when I started seeing different drama, the drama was getting too much. A friend of hers have to call me that. Um, see, guy, I'm not telling you this for you to feel bad, but this and this. Um, this girl does not have room. I just pretend. I just keep calm. I was still going with the relationship. Then she started acting up. Before then, I told her that you coming to my place, visiting me will be like you coming to stay one month with me will be so difficult. Then when I said I need her to uh, limit the way she visits me, she started acting up. He who alleges must prove. Jennifer did not come to court with all evidence to prove the amount of loan she claims. Judge Fumi adjourns this matter. Will be Jennifer. Yes, Your Honor. I know you've been here before. Yes, Your Honor. Um, we are here with regards to two issues. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, the, okay, can you narrate? Okay. First was to bring my evidence and second, the allegation he laid on me, not having room. Okay. So I run a pelvic test, a pelvic scan rather. All right. Um, let me have a copy of your, do you have it? Okay, I did my own pelvic scan, then I used the cuts. I have the, okay, do you have the original? I have a copy of yours here, right? Yes, I have the original, yes. You did one, yes. then the court had to repeat another one. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. you have anything to say? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I have the result of the test, which says everything is okay. Our womb is intact. The uterus is non-gravid. Normal size with uniform myometra echo pattern, right? Then that's the one you brought. That's from Phantom Specialty Pedicle Diagnostic Center, right? Lagos, 19 B Gomu Road. Yes, then we have another one from St. Leo's Medical Center, 19 stroke 21, Tony Street, Ikeja, Lagos. And Pelvic ultrasound result for OB Jennifer. The routine check. The result is dated 25th of July 2023 at 2.8 p.m. Transabdominal scan for the uterus is antiverted, non gravid, and normal in size. It has a regular myometrical outline with the homogeneous echo texture. So that is normal as against your allegation. And you see, I want to tell you, I'll just give you an advice. 
when you are not sure of anything, you don't allege it. It's very capital. Because if she's vindictive now, with this, all she has to do is sue you for defamation of character. Do you understand me? Yes, you mean. So, you have to be guided. And you are young. You just come in and say this. You are ex-boyfriend. So, somebody wants to marry her, or she'll go into a relationship and the family will go over the case. Maybe they've seen the case on YouTube or something and she starts having issues. She has to clarify herself. And we have to spend money on this as well, which ordinarily is not necessary. If I ask you to refund this money to the court, we'll be online. Do you understand me? Yes, you mean. So, just be careful. Then, pertaining to the... The other issue is the outstanding, the money between the two of you. You remember? So, I have a printout of her account. How much are you owing her? Okay. Both medical examination reports before the court confirms that the womb of the plaintiff, Hopi Jennifer, is in place and in good condition, contrary to the allegation by her ex-lover, Ifai Monday. The plaintiff also presented her account statement well marked to show when she transferred the alleged loan to Ifai. The defendant, Ifai Moses, insists that he is not owing Jennifer any loan. Judge Fumi waits into this matter. With relationship, you can decide to give each other money. But when is a love sum that is not in line with the regular sum I've been saying? then I have to take cognizance of that. That dam is probably the loan between you. I want to, there's more money you paid into account. She claimed that you are to assist her. Mm -hmm. Part of her school fees, 60,000 naira. Yes. No, she, I want you to have a look at it and note all the comments by the side. Then, this particular one, let me show him this. Because I intend to hold you liable for this. I noticed transfer of 163, 143, 122, 102, 82 on same day. So that's likely. If it's a loan, let me transfer. You know there's a maximum which you can show it to him. You denied. You said no money was ever paid into account before. A lot. Mm -hmm. Check. She paid into account several times. Show him. The one for the is very sent to my account. Yes. Speak out. You are speaking the to the court. The one for the the money she said I'm going to is how much and how much are we seeing here? How much did you say? It's not three sixty you first said yes, initially. Three sixty. Then he claimed he has been giving me money. Money. That. He gave me hundred thousand. That you Islam. submitted. You you know that's your last case that you've been paid off. That's the only money. Setting. And what's the balance? One sixty. He has started paying already. He paid for <laughs> the last. Uh, the last. The last time the matter came up, you admitted to have paid part of the money. The money I paid out of what people say, help her. She's your at least, if not for anything, you know she's having this um, kind of heinous. Sometimes she says she wants to go on a surgeon for her eyes. Then people come in to meet her as her sister. Me giving her that money does not mean I'm going her. No, you don't understand. I claim is that you took, speak. Yeah. Apart from he, that, you took a loan from me her. When he what? was pleading. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Let, let, let him speak. She said she sent you um, 360 mm -hmm. on one day. Or how did the loan come? Answer Instrumental. What do you say? How many times you did? Some was cash, some was transferred. You did, you give me cash. The, ca the cash transfer, you can't prove that. Okay. So I'm not going into the cash transfer at all. If you claim you give him cash and there's nothing to back that up and he's denying, there's nothing I can do about that. The one sister he said he gave to me, that's the only money he has ever given to me. Because even in the relationship, he knows I am not the material. That 100,000 naira, what is it about? Look at the 100,000. That 100k. On the same day. On the same day. That came to your account. 
Let me see it. Okay. Sorry, just a minute. Let me underline them. This, 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 this. So, can I have the calculator? So, all this morning, on a particular day, one, two, three, four, five. She made payment of 20,000 Naira, five times, 23rd of December, 2021. Can you remember? Yes, sir. Uh, what happened that day? That was the same day he called and asked he needed to change his phone, that I should lend him some money, okay. which I did. So it was a loan? Yes. <laughs> Show him. Uh, 20, 20,000 Naira. It was a loan, she said, right? Ask her where, where was she when she was sending this money to me. What do you mean by ask her? Is it the one conducting no, the case? sorry, ma'am. Sorry. You ask. You okay, ask. where were you when, I was, when you were sending this money to me? In um, my house. Where am I supposed to be? In your house. Yes. And the last time he mentioned something of me spending a month with him and all that, I stayed with just my mom. And there's no way it's possible I'll leave my mom for full month and come be with when you're not my husband. <laughs> I was going to correct that. Um, even if I'm, if I'm lying, if you claim I'm lying, can you call somebody from the house? I will give you a number you will call. Or if you have any, if you I'm have any. I'm not all these issues. I'm well, concerned. This, this money she said she gave I'm addressing to me. Now. This money was the day I went to get something at Alaba. And I was okay, like having ask. issues with Alaba network. Okay. So I called her and that very particular day she's at home in my house. Already, I gave her money for shopping already. That one is outside for going to try and change my phone. Where this whole issue started is when I said, oh, if I change my phone, once I get a new phone, I'll give her my 11 Pro Max. Because that was the phone I went to get that day. So when the network was misbehaving and I needed to attend to something urgently, so I have to call her, please send me some, some amount of money. Once I get home, I'll give it to you. Which immediately when I even after when I paid her that money, the day I still went to Lagos Island, she followed me. I know how much I still give to her. I don't want to start talking much. You the, know, they know the issue. I mean, just a, you see, that's why I always say people treat issue of what you should treat in a business manner. You just treat it on a in a very careless manner. You're giving out a loan. If you are transferring even online, if you're using your mobile to transfer, you put loan on it. Does it code that? You know that, you know the portion? There's a portion you put loan. So when you are receiving it, you will see it there. It's a loan. When you are being debited, you see it loan. And you too, immediately you know that it's on record. You want something to show that you have paid back. This says because he even called my mom. He's like, claiming now that he, he has paid you. called my mom is a witness of this case. He called my mom. I was telling my mom to plead with me. I have a chat with his priest. He's not saying you take the money, mind you. He said you paid. And you see, you know why your matter is very complicated is a lot of transaction from him into your account, a lot of transaction from him too into your account. No, like, and you were dating. Yeah. You were dating at this time. So it's difficult to differentiate the one that is loan from the one that is gift. Yeah. So, so on that charge, I'm sorry, you can't move ahead on that. But for the, I've cautioned you on what you say on national TV. Yeah, and I uh, didn't say direct. I only said a friend once told me something about her. I never said I'm sure about it. Okay, beautiful. You've corrected that as well. Well, your that friend, well, but now you know that what her friend said. The best of friends. But you can see that whatever that friend told you, it's not so correct. I do not react. Be careful then. the kind of friends you keep. With friends like that, you don't need an enemy. That is it. 
with so many transactions between the ex-lovers and none was clearly marked as loan or love gift. The plaintiff was not able to establish a case before the court. After the break, Judge Fumi rules. So, that's the... Is there any other thing? Now you know she's okay, you've corrected that. And on the issue of the money involved, the two of you, you've used that money to date yourself. Matter is hereby concluded. All right. If your baby daddy is denying paternity of the child to avoid upkeep, or you suspect misattributed paternity situations, submit your case online at www.thejusticecourt.com for a prompt resolution of the matter.